Nigeria as a country needs to grow and develop in all ramifications. David Mack said they fought to keep Nigeria united as one, hence the need for peaceful coexistence amongst people despite cultural and religious differences for the country to grow in peace and unity. He assures of the delegation's commitment to keep the country together, bonded by its shared patriotism and love. Provided for them in the constitution, they defend the territorial integrity of the country. Nigeria has to remain as a country. I mean, that is not an issue that we need to negotiate at all. It is one united country. And anybody who says anything outside that truly is missing the point. David Mack also explained that the members of the third regular course chose Kaduna because of its remarkable achievement in terms of development. War was imminent. It was obvious that we were all going to go to war. So you can imagine that these are uh, old men now, but then very young in those days, who were very prepared to go and fight to keep Nigeria united and to keep Nigeria one. We felt that our golden jubilee anniversary should be in Kaduna, where we all started. And I think it's appropriate that we chose Kaduna as our meeting point. Kaduna State Governor Erufai, who was represented by the Speaker Kaduna State House of Assembly, Abdullahi Shagali, underscored the need for unity and solidarity. He asked citizens of the state and Nigeria at large to continue to understand that common humanity matters, stressing the need for individual differences to be appreciated. We have to maintain that culture of unity and diversity, and we have to live together as a one and a very prosperous country. Shagali also emphasized on unity of purpose and solidarity. He frowned at actions that threaten peace and unity of the country. Phoebe Kure, Liberty News.